Sumsus. This is Minx from Average Geek, and we're here about episode two of season five, Once Upon a Time. If you didn't get to see the episode tonight, uh, wait until you actually watch it before you actually watch this video. Um, that is your only spoiler warning, and let's go. So, we find out a little bit more of what happened at Camelot uh, this episode. I actually enjoyed this episode a little bit more than uh, the first episode. Like, I, if you remember my uh, review last week, I thought that that episode went way too fast and things were a little too easily resolved. Um, it looks like we did a kind of a monster of the week uh, kind of theme with this one, which I think hurts it just slightly. Um, I'm not a huge fan of that, but, you know, it did have its, you know, plot devices. Uh, I thought the CGI was better. Um, we returned to the more typical stuff, like the smoke effects and whatnot. We only got to see the crappy um, Camelot CGI, like, once, maybe twice. Um, and it wasn't as bad as that initial pan back shot in the first episode. Um, so I can give it a buy on that. I liked the CGI with the Fury. Um, that was actually pretty cool. Uh, it was kind of a cross between, like, a, a Greek Fury and... Um, what I would consider a banshee from like uh, Irish myth, so which actually really fits with the themes going on this season. Um, rather interesting about the whole Regina pretending to be the um, savior. Uh, I don't, I don't know how I feel about that necessarily, because um, I think she'll, I think she will. F fill that savior role um, on her own and I don't think she I, I don't know if I get the whole you know I'm going to pretend to be the savior blah 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 totally see some like um, mind rumple being able to uh, use that as a kind of a jealousy fodder um, to manipulate Emma into the darkness um because she very clearly saved Robin. Um, I like them kind of showing, you know, Regina's struggles with, okay, I have to be the hero. Like, the, it's it's down to me. I have to be the hero. No one else can do this. You know, obviously something here is my fault and I have to fix this. Um, I'm kind of digging that. Um, Robin being very supportive, that's cool. Kind of want to know what happened to Zelina, um, if they locked her back up, you know, in the in the isolation cell or not. Because, um, you know, she's going to pop her ugly ass up again. Um, not that the actress is ugly or anything. Um, I think she's actually really cool, and she plays the part very well. It's just a reflection of the character. I don't like the character. Um kind of cute that looks like henry's got a, a a little crush going on um and they did the whole um you know flashback you know enchanted forest uh bit and um and then it relating into real life which you know they always do that was pretty good um i actually kind of dug the song choice um that they chose for um both the scene in um, Camelot and, you know, in the real world. Um, I'm, I'm very eclectic. I love a lot of different kinds of music. And it's a song choice. I don't think that a lot of shows would have chosen it. I like it. It was funky and upbeat and um, I think speaks to kind of how Henry is. Um, and it also had somewhat of a... Um, like, listening to it and the sound and stuff, it actually made me think of the never-ending story. Um like when uh, they're when he's flying on uh, Falcor, uh, you know, I was totally expecting somebody to start singing. It's the never-ending story. Um, so that was cool. Uh, I feel like okay, I, there's gonna be some downsides. There's always downsides. Nothing's ever perfect. On um, downsides, uh, the ball scenes, I feel like they could have done better with Regina's hair. I mean, come on. She's usually the, the evil queen. She usually has epic costumes and epic hair. Um, I think they could have done something more um, 
a lot more regal, or at least, you know, a better updo, you know, giving her more of a princessian type look. Um, I felt that was a little weak. Um, I didn't like the necklace. The necklace was a gaudy and fake. Um, like you could tell that was plastic. It, it wasn't, it wasn't that attractive. They could have gone a little more, uh, with that. Uh, I don't, I don't know. I, it's very small nitpicky things, I think, um, for this episode. The, I don't know how I feel about Arthur. I don't trust Guinevere. Um, I want to, I want to know more about, uh, this version of Guinevere and her motivations because, uh, there's a, the first scene you actually see her in the, in the episode, you know, she's running up to Arthur and she's like, oh, and he's like, oh, I worried something happened to you, blah, blah, blah. And her, like her first question is like, where's the sword? Like where's Excalibur? And it's like, bitch, aren't you excited to see your man? Like, come on. It's like, I know in the Arthurian legend, she got with Lancelot, they hooked up, and it was like the downfall of Camelot or whatever, but it's like, dude, why, why are you so into this sword, yo? Um, and then you get the later scene, actually, in Camelot, you know, when they're doing the flashbacks and stuff, and she's discussing things with Arthur, and she's, again, worried about, you know, joining the swords joining and you know oh my gosh are we gonna lose you know all and what what are we gonna do now and i don't know bitch be shady like i don't i don't know how i feel about her she she's i'm very iffy about uh guinevere and i want to see are they gonna play this true to arthurian legend like where she ends up you know kind of screwing him over by hooking up with lancelot or are they gonna take that a different way and also where the fuck is lancelot like i want to know um, cause he's too important to Arthurian legend, period, to not have him there somewhere. Um, so his absence was a little bit weird. Um, uh, Sir Percival, I don't remember Sir Percival being, um, necessarily bad in the, um, Arthurian legends. Um, the only real bad knight I remember was, uh, Mordred which I don't know if that was who that was in the first episode because I can't remember what they called him. Um, if so, that's just horrible. Um, I would like to see Mordred actually be a part of this and be a part of kind of uh, evilness. Um, also, what's up with that room that is like locked in, in Emma's new house, new fancy schmancy house that like, um, like, is there anything else other than that weird like cavernous bunker underneath that houses the sword in the stone um because yeah duh of course that's going to come up at some point uh hello merlin's you know uh warning you know do not pull the sword from the stone you know our shit's gonna go bad you know there there's that but i want to know why why does it look so different like Hello, easy tell for anyone who goes into her house that there's something weird right there. Like, why couldn't it look just like a normal one with maybe, like, a littler lock, you know? It's like a screaming sign. Um, another thing I didn't like was uh, when Regina finally decides to sacrifice herself to save Robin, you know, to pay the magic price. Um... You know, they all run up and one by one, like, take her hand. Like, no, I'm not going to let you go alone. Da, da, da. Hello, Guardians of the Galaxy moment. Seriously? Seriously. Like, I get the, you know, that Disney, which owns ABC and Marvel, you know, there's bound to be some kind of weird crossover. But we did we really need the Guardians of the Galaxy moment? You know? I feel like it would have been more powerful and in some ways more meaningful to character development for Regina if her selfless act of taking responsibility and giving herself up for Robin I think that in itself should have caused the Fury's magic to like rebound on it I think that would have been cooler and I think that would have been a cooler effect to see instead of seeing them rehash a scene 
that felt almost directly related <laughs> to Guardians of the Galaxy. Like, seriously? Come on. Um, other than that, uh, overall, I felt like the episode was good. I'd say my line of the episode um, is actually going to be, surprisingly enough, and this kind of grosses me out to say, um, from Prince Charming, um, when he notices, you know, uh, Henry has a crush and it's, it's tied between two different things. He said, um, first thing is when, uh, him and, uh, snow actually noticed that, you know, Henry's making not eyes at some chick and he goes, Oh, first crush. I'm on it. Like that was pretty <laughs> funny. And then, um, also when he's like talking to Henry and Henry's like, Oh yeah, what am I supposed to do? And he goes, seriously, he goes, you're, you know, you're from another land. It's mysterious. Use it. Like, and he just hands in the drinks. That was good. Um, I thought those were the, probably, I, I'd say that's probably the best line of the, of the show. Um, overall, I, I'd give this episode somewhere in a B plus, A minus range. Uh, it was pretty good. They got back on track. It wasn't overly fast like the first episode was uh you can tell that they're building up they're starting building up build ups um which is nice um the effects weren't overly done i actually really liked uh what they did with the fury uh kind of rem- reminded me of the Chernabog from uh last ep- last season um you know just just enough to make it frightening which was good um it raised more questions for me, like, why the hell isn't Merlin in a tree? Is Merlin really in a tree? Um, who the f- what the hell is, is Guinevere's motivations? Um, you know, what the heck is going on with Emma? And why is she all, like, horn-dogging for, uh, Hook? Um, I give Hook mad props for, uh, turning that down, um, to try and figure out what the hell is going on. Um also liked what he what he said to Belle at the end when he was like, look, I, I spent the last, you know, so long, you know, trying to kill, you know, Rumpel as the Dark One. I can spend at least that much, you know, trying to, you know, uh, save the woman he loves, which I thought was really awesome. And this is why Hook is like one of my favorite characters. Um, yeah, so all in all, B plus, A minus range. Um, I look forward to next week. I uh, can't wait to see what they do there. I'm hoping that it's not another, you know, uh, monster of the week. Um, I want more character development. I want to see more um, from their time in Enchanted Forest. Um, so, yeah, uh, I think that's where I'm at. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Um, tell me what you think below. You know, um, did you enjoy the episode? What was your favorite part? What was your favorite line uh, from episode two? Uh, is there anything you want me to judge on these episodes? You know, what do you think is going to happen next? Uh, let me know below. As always, like and subscribe for your chance to win a subscription box, uh, in the future. Uh, see you next Sunday. Later, onesies.